This is one part of a four part series of the best vehicles in every single spec in the game. The link to that playlist will be the top link in the description. For the sake of this list, I'm only going to be including cars that are currently obtainable, so no exclusive cars will be counted. Any exclusive cars that need to be brought up will be brought up at the end of the video. I also will not be including any budget options as money should not be an issue in this game. If you have an issue with money, after this guide, I have a bucks guide you can go and watch to earn enough money to get all the cars in this video. This also will not include the best cars for skills as that was a separate guide I made a while ago. Instead, only including the best vehicles for their respective events. Also, this can sometimes vary based on each event, so it's always good practice to check the leaderboards to see what the people at the top are using. The best vehicles can sometimes change, so check the pinned comment for any updates on cars that have changed since I uploaded this video. If three or more cars have changed since I uploaded this video, the comment will link to a newer guide. And stick around to the very end of the video for all the tips, tricks, and hacks, and even what parts to use for every single single spec. Starting off with aerobatics, now this one is rather simple. There was two planes that were going to be put in contention, that was the Harman Rocket and the Slick 360 HP. However, for this video, when trying these events, aerobatics events, for the video using the parts that you should be using, which will be at the end of the video, I found that the slick was just unusable with the part set that I was using. So if you want to use the best aerobatics plane and be the best at aerobatics events, I don't know why you would, you can use the Harman HR rocket. It's easily the best aerobatics plane, but that's like being the best at kicking puppies. You might be good at what you do, but what you do isn't very good. So if you're really, really the person that decides they need to know what the best plane in aerobatics is, yes, the Harman rocket HR3 is your plane to go with. Next on the list is Demo Derby. Now, there's two options in this spec, but there's also two different types of events in this spec. You have your arena fights in Demo Derby, where obviously you take on other players, and for this, there's two options, and that is the Frontierer and the Bulk. I find both of these very, very good in Demolition Derby, although the Frontierer isn't as beefy as the Bulk, it's a bit more slick and can zip around a bit easier. However, the Bulk being a bit stiffer is much more stronger, especially with the parts affixes that I recommend. Now, at some point during this section, there was most definitely a plan to make a segue with a smashing cars to smashing the subscribe button to plug subscribing to you, but the concept of saying the words sub smash the subscribe button unironically kind of disgusts me. So, to get rid of all the cringe, Here's your prompt, head down there, subscribe, it'd be very much appreciated. And next, moving on to Demolition Derby Races. Now, these are few and far between, however, for this one, I would recommend the Frontierer over the Bolt. You won't really be focusing on fighting other players, so the strength of your hits don't really matter as much, and instead, just the speed. And in the situation of speed, most definitely, the Frontierer is the better Demolition Derby vehicle to go with. And before you leave the comment down there, Sure, Demolition Derby, Demolition Derby, 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 de who, who, cat. Next on the list is a very, very simple one. A latecomer into the Jet Sprint spec, Jet Sprint being a event type that hadn't had any added vehicles until the Proto Rocket, which instantaneously became the best Jet Sprint boat. And it stays that way, and it probably will stay that way. The Proto Rocket is by far the best Jet Sprint boat in the game. It is completely completely better and there's no point in going with any other vehicle in jet sprint you'd be actively putting yourself at a disadvantage so if you want anything good for jet sprint go for the proto rocket there isn't much else to say in that situation
And finally, Monster Truck. Now, this one comes into another situation like Demolition Derby, where there is two different types of events, those being Monster Truck Arenas, where you attempt to get skilled points, and Monster Truck Races, where you race against other Monster Trucks. For Monster Truck Arenas, there's a choice of two again, and that is the Mustang GT Monster Truck. It's a very, very good Monster Truck all around, essentially. It does the trick, it does the job, but also you can use the Silverado. That also works for Monster Truck Arenas. Both of those are the best of the best Monster Trucks for Arenas. However, you really want to prioritize what route you go in Monster Truck Arenas instead. But yes, if you want to know just what the best vehicles are for Arenas, that will be the Silverado and the Mustang GT. And next is Monster Truck Races. Now, there is only a few. However, the one that tops everything is the Mustang GT. It's overall the best monster truck in the spec when it comes to actual performance. I would most definitely recommend this. I used to world record run a couple of monster truck races and this is the go-to. It's really good for turns and speed and basically the lot as an actual car in monster truck. However, there is other options because some monster truck races are a lot longer. And for those, the Silverado is a good choice, although not similar in handling for the shorter turning races, the Silverado is good when it comes to speed and slipstreaming. Perhaps not the best, but it's one of the best overall cars for racing in monster trucks that is buyable. And well now is when we go on to mention the other things like the parts and the non-buyable cars. So let's get into that. Remember the full playlist link is gonna be in the description. When considering exclusive cars, the only one that comes to light is the Combi High School Edition. This was a motorbus car during the agency and is the highest top speed in the monster truck spec. If you want a fast monster truck, this is the one to go with. Now, obviously, you can't get it anymore. Same with all motorbus cars. So if you don't own it, then go with the Silverado. But if you own this thing, use this thing. It is not only the one of only two exclusive monster trucks in the spec, but it is very, very good for speed. However, it still gets beaten out by the Mustang GT in shorter turning races. This is just for slipstreaming and long stretches. The Mustang is still the better monster truck car. As far as parts are concerned, for aerobatics, you want to be using Extreme Mode and Magnificent. Extreme Mode increases the efficiency of your plane in the air during aerobatics events when you hold square. And Magnificent increases scoring by 10% in aerobatics events. A very simple, easy buff, this also being on a Nitro Chemist part set. For Demolition Derby Arena events, on a Nitro Chemist set, all parts with Nitro Chemist, you want to be using Pure and Bulldozer. Pure increases your Nitro power while Bulldozer increases the collision impact force, greatly increasing the force you hit the cars with in the events. For Demolition Derby races, it's a lot simpler as it's just the normal full pure refill speed Nitro Chemist set. This will obviously simply increase your speed when you nitro, being the nitro power and the refill speed of that nitro. For jet sprints, it's also a simple fully nitro chemist pure and extra pump set just to increase your nitro power and your nitro refill speed. For monster truck arenas, you want to be using a gifted and graceful set. What gifted and graceful do is one increases your rotation speed in the air and gifted increases your scoring in monster truck events and predictably for monster truck races again just the normal fully nitro chemist pure and refill speed set this will increase your speed and nitro refill time as far as tips for aerobatics if you hold square your plane zips around a lot quicker and when in the freestyle sections you can snap 90 degrees over and over again it gets a bit disorientating, but if you constantly snap 90 degrees, you get a lot of points accumulating very quickly. For Jet Sprint, I will often invert my boat Y axis. I do this for both Jet Sprint and Power Boat. This means that on my controller, I push forward to lean backwards, which just makes it a lot simpler to turn and I have more control over the boat. And finally, the other videos mentioned in this video 
the Bucks guy, a bunch of different methods for the best ways to earn money in the crew too. Also, a skills guide, which was an in-depth look at every single skill in the game, where I described how to play them, how to max out the points on them, and gave like a full rundown on every single one. So remember, that's the Harmon Rocket HR3, the Fender Frontera, the Proto Rocket, and the Mustang GT. Make sure to check out the other videos in this series. The playlist link is in the description. Thank you to popular members. A special thank you to famous members in a...